David, thanks for taking time away from waiting for Sandler to write Grown Ups 3 to be here. Pete's dad never got to see him on SNL because he passed away on 9-11. Pete's mom has never seen him on SNL because she blinks. I, I want to thank Spade for hosting tonight. He was, he was amazing. Love you. Love you. Oh, by the way, um, SNL has just released a compilation of David's funniest sketches. It's called The Best of Chris Farley. <laughs> We're here to honor one of the biggest stars of 1987. <laughs> with some of the biggest stars of 1984. <laughs> Ralph Macchio's here. Ralph's a great guy. I drove over here with him. Gave him five stars. At one time, Rob was one of the biggest stars in the world. He was an A-list actor. He was named one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world. And he the other 49. <laughs> These are compliments. Is this guy hot or what? There's not a dry pussy in the place. <laughs> I'm a clean up on every chick's chair. <laughs> For years, Rob Lowe had a sex addiction, but he cured it by getting less famous. Rob was in a movie called The Outsiders back in the day. Remember that? His character was called Soda Pop because at the time Rob was 98% Coke. <laughs> I remember the first time I became aware of Rob. I was at a casting meeting for Tommy Boy when I came across your headshot, and I do mean came across. <laughs> He's good looking. It's not easy being Rob. He said being so handsome made it difficult for him to find meaningful roles. I wanted to ask Brad Pitt about that, but he was too busy acting in meaningful roles. <laughs> Rob has a line of skincare products. You can buy them online. You won't, but you can. <laughs> Our younger audience might not know who you are, so kids, this is who your mom thinks about when she's your dad. Rob was great on The West Wing. You remember that show? I assume your pal Charlie Sheen helped you with that. He's used to working with AIDS. White House AIDS. What did you get? Oh. Rob looks great for his age. Many people have uh, wondered if he's had any plastic surgery. Those same people have wondered if Caitlyn Jenner has any plastic surgery. <laughs> Rob came up at a time when a sex tape could really ruin your career, but Rob had to do it the hard way with his acting. <laughs> Rob was in Austin Powers, too. He was excited to meet the cat, Mr. Bigglesworth, since it had been a while since he'd made a movie with a hairless pussy. Whoa, Macaulay Culkin looks worse than I thought. <laughs> David, thanks for taking time away from waiting for Sandler to write Grown Ups 3 to be here. <laughs> David Spade's assistant once tried to kill him in his sleep, and the world was shocked to find out you could afford an assistant. <laughs> it's not bad. Pete Davidson, Pete's dad, never got to see him on SNL because he passed away on 9-11. Pete's mom has never seen him on SNL because she blinks. Is Pete white? Is he black? Ann Coulter needs to know so she can decide if she hates him. <laughs> Pete, I actually thought you were black, but I guess you just have your uh, dad's ashy skin. Give it up for David Spade tonight as our host. Doing a great job. Thanks, David, for giving me a copy of your autobiography before the show. David always keeps a copy on him because uh, it helps him reach the steering wheel, honestly. <laughs> Tiny little baby man is what I'm saying. You may not know this, but Rob Riggle was a pilot in the Marines who got shot down at SNL, ABC, and HBO. <laughs> Things were so tough for him at SNL, his call time was Sunday morning. <laughs> it is nice to see my friend David Spade. Um, 
you guys are well aware, his assistant uh, once tried to murder him, which, I don't know, I guess the stress of answering the phone twice a month finally got to him. <laughs> um, that'd be hard, that'd be hard. <laughs> David Spade, amazingly, um, has slept with some of the most beautiful actresses in Hollywood, proving just how ugly show business makes women feel. <laughs> Jewel, she was born in Alaska, and for the last 20 years, her career has been on ice. <laughs> Jewel grew up in a house with no plumbing, so she turned her shit into music. She'll be leaving right after the show, but her tooth is gonna hang out. David Spade, our host this evening, doing a fabulous job. <laughs> you look like a female Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> David is perhaps best known for his work with comedy legend Chris Farley. Tragically, Chris Farley died when his heart stopped due to a lethal combination of heroin, cocaine, and the stress of carrying David Spade through two movies. If you don't know who Jimmy Carr is, he's a comic who sells out theaters in England, Hong Kong, Thailand, and Australia. There's a name for that in America, opening act. <laughs> he looks like his dick wears a monocle. Thank you, David, uh, for your first roast. This has got to be really exciting for you. Uh, your performance so far reminds me of my rookie year in the NFL when I threw a league-high 28 interceptions and had absolutely no clue what I was doing. <laughs> As we all know, I followed in my father's footsteps, but David, you forged a path on your own. I know you wanted to follow in your dad's footsteps, but he uh, snuck out of the house so carefully he didn't leave any tracks. <laughs> But you did it anyway, David. You went out and got a business degree from Arizona State. <laughs> Although to be fair, I think we all know that a business degree from Arizona State is just a bar towel that says you read good. <laughs> Speaking of reading, I recently read Spade's memoir, Almost Interesting. Actually, I'm lying. You really think the first book I pick up in 20 years is gonna be by the guy who played Dickie Roberts, former child star? <laughs> I don't think so. What the f <laughs> No, Peyton. By the way, David, that title, almost interesting, talk about false advertising. <laughs> now, if you wanted to be honest, you should have called it almost tall enough to ride a roller coaster. <laughs> I'll take it. David Spade is dumb and short. <laughs> Sorry. Bad habit. Sorry. There we go. Hello. Peyton Manning is here physically. <laughs> now, come on. We love Peyton Manning. We're lucky to have him tonight. I'll never forget Peyton's career. Sadly, he will. <laughs> <laughs> He may be the only person up here who's been given more head than Rob Lowe. David Spade, the host with the most step stools in your apartment. <laughs> David, you've seriously influenced so many female comics haircuts. Some people say Nikki Glaser is only here because she's good looking. Nothing could be further from the truth. <laughs> if you haven't seen Nikki's show yet, you're me. <laughs> I know it's pretty shameless, but I'm on a stage with a guy who made two Joe Dirt films, so how shameless can I be? Uh, as a right-wing hate monger, it's fantastic to be at a big Hollywood shindig with all these glittering celebrities that isn't a fundraiser for Obama. I'm hoping to persuade you all to vote for Trump, uh, but most of all, I want you, David, um, because it would prove the media is lying when they say they're, that Trump won't get the vote of a single spade. <laughs> David is the, the perfect roast master for the show. He's successful enough that everyone knows who he is, but not so successful that he makes us feel threatened. He's like the Mike Pence of comedy. 
A lot of people don't realize that David's sister is famous designer Kate Spade. Judging by your outfit, David, I gather you're not speaking. <laughs> Anne hopes the Republicans uh, can hold on to the house so she can continue to haunt it. <laughs> she seems stiff and conservative, but Anne gets wild in the sheets. Just ask the Klan. <laughs> Looks like she's having a good time. I haven't seen you laugh this hard since Trayvon Martin got shot. <laughs> 